Hey, how are you? This is Pat with High Level Freaks, and I am coming at you with a brand new tutorial. Um, Alok is off today doing something else, so I'm flying solo doing this tutorial. But today we're going to show you how to add a dynamic typing effect to your high level pages so that you can wow your clients, you can uh, em employ this for your clients or deploy it to their websites and get some really cool effects and uh, just you know have one more tool in your web design tool belt when you do uh, websites for your clients. So what I'm talking about as far as the effect goes is it's like you know like one word uh, you know or or a, basically like a little phrase here like like this you can see this is in the page and it's typing all of the things that we offer right. Is that not cool? Uh, and then we also have uh, another effect here that basically types out an entire sentence on a page. So this is something that's pretty cool if you wanna uh, maximize the amount of space you use on the page to get more content to people. Uh, and with just a little bit of CSS spying in your uh, web builder, we'll be able to actually create this effect very, very simply. It's um, almost no code. You can literally copy and paste the code and then just make very small edits to get this effect going in your pages. So before we do that, uh, be sure to like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, you know, share this with your friends. Let us know what you think in the comments. And we are gonna have the link to this funnel share right in the description. So let's dive in. Okay, we're in the funnel share here that we're going to give you, and I'm gonna show you how we add this code. It's really, really simple. So we're gonna go over here and edit the page, and we're gonna go in here, and you see that I have basically just a headline, and then I've got another sub-headline here, and I've got a little script block. So that's really it. So anything that you want to add uh, or want to animate obviously is going to be text right because you can't we're not going to animate images and things uh, we're going to animate the text uh, in high level pages so uh, one thing that you need to do when you actually add uh, this element here is that you got to come over to the advanced tab like this and you'll see down here we've got the custom type dino hyphen type like dino type right like dynamic typing You've got to add that custom CSS class to anything you want to animate. Now I'm going to go out and stop you right now uh, before you go out and animate everything on the page. More is or, or less is more when you're doing this. Like I really would only suggest doing this on like one place on the page. You don't want to have a whole bunch of phrases, you know, typing and typing all over your page because that's going to get very distracting for your customers. This is more of like a, a nice wow dynamic effect to get to, you know, to get attention. So just be very, very sparing with it. Really only use uh, just one. But um, you select this element, you add the class dino type like that. And then you can use this little piece of script here that we've written for you. Now I'm going to explain what this script is. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy it. And uh, then I am going to paste it over here in a brand new text editor so that we can actually go through it pretty simply. So here we go like this. I'm going to just... Uh, go over here like this okay so this code is what you're going to paste into the page now you really only need to edit this chunk here okay so the element like when when we actually do the edits here the element that you want to animate is going to be h2 so that's kind of html code so if we look over here like let's look at um let's see what page we want to look at so if i pull up the Google uh, developer extension or the developer window, like you can actually inspect like this. You right click and, and inspect. You'll notice that this, uh, this uh, container here has the CSS class dino type, right? And then it's an H2. And so in the code here, I'm actually going to be targeting H2. Uh, so that's how we that's how we figure out what element we're going to animate with this little bit of script. Okay, it's very simple. Now you can animate multiple elements by just doing comma delimited, uh, but I really again just do one. Um, so the next thing that you're going to want to edit are the phrases you want to animate. So you'll notice this is your first phrase here, and then you have a pipe. So that is a pipe character, 
and so you basically uh, have pipe delimited phrases. And so you could do as many as you want uh, on these phrases, but really you don't want too many, right? Um, and that's that's really all you need to edit. Now, if you like the way this is editing as far or, or, or typing as far as like speed and the way it, it, it pauses and then, you know, erases itself and then types the next thing, you can edit all of these little values here. Uh, those are all in milliseconds, and so you see the typing speed. It's basically 100 milliseconds per uh, character, and then when it deletes it, it goes a lot quicker, and then it pauses, and then types again, and it pauses for a while to let somebody read that, and then it deletes it again, and it just goes, and it just cycles through all of your phrases. So that's basically it. So all you need to do when you uh, edit this is come in here, edit what element that you want to uh, uh, animate and then you want to uh, basically create your little pipe delimited list um, one thing if you're going to use something with with uh, i guess with uh, quotes like this like you'll notice that this is using a a double tick quote in this phrase if i'm going to use a double quick tick quote inside one of these phrases uh, with javascript uh, and and you probably shouldn't need to but i mean with javascript you have to escape it like that so that that way it doesn't end the the, the phrase and break your javascript so uh one thing that you could do to, to not have to do that is just avoid quotes because you shouldn't really need to use quotes in something like that. Um, so that is that's how you edit the uh, the the whole uh, phrase if you want to animate the whole phrase. Now let's look over here and see what it is what that we're doing when we animate basically like a chunk of a phrase, right? Or or just a word like this. Now you'll notice over here um, I've got a main headline so if I come over here you can see I've got the uh, custom class dino type but now if I look at this and I want to inspect this my Chrome window comes up this is dino type and then it's an h1 and then it's an underline so now if I look at the code here on our page um, I can look here and say um, I'm looking at H1 strong U. So let's go back to this. Here we go. Dinotype H1 strong U. So we're actually targeting, very specifically targeting that little element on the page. And so you get to see that it is actually animating and it's doing it again here. It's, it's going offering SAS, offering uh, you know, missed call text back and that sort of thing. So let's go back here and see what this script looks like. I'm going to go here, paste it in here in my editor. And here you go. You can see that I'm targeting H1 strong U. And then here are all of the options that I'm offering with my, uh, you know, agency. So I'm offering SAS, missed call text back, unified inbox, automated social posting. And so this will actually go and cycle through all of those features. Now you'll notice that this is red with no underline. One thing I did do is I did add a little bit of CSS up here and I just said H1U uh, text decoration none, right? So I'm just basically giving a little custom CSS to remove the underline from the SAS uh, or from that from the one chunk of words that need to uh, need to edit or, or sorry, need to animate. So if I wanted to do uh, a little bit of uh, you know make it look really cool i could make this black like that save it and then what you'll see is that instead of it being red it's going to just end up being completely black like that and so then you can see that it's just typing just the one word i kind of like it red but you know you can edit whatever you want when you uh, get in here and start messing around with this funnel share. So all again, all you have to do to edit or to animate these uh, these elements with a typing effect is come in here, advanced, uh, select the element, click the advanced tab, add dino type as the custom class, and then just customize this little script here. Uh, you really only need to edit these, uh, you know, you only need to edit these little sections here and you'll be in business. So uh, again, if you want this uh, nice cool funnel share, you can get it in the uh, link descriptions or in the, uh, the video descriptions. Just sign up, we'll email you the funnel share, you can import it, and then you can start implementing it 
for your clients and for your websites. So hope you enjoyed this really short tutorial. Remember, uh, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Um, if you have any ideas, we have uh, another link in the, the uh, description for being able to submit tutorial ideas. So uh, enjoy, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the, uh, the little typing effect there, and have a good day.